Hello, welcome to another episode of Magic Arena Run. Today's the weekend and I was about to do competitive seal but then... This is what I s Um, For the record, competitive seal costs 2,000 gems. I'm 50 gems short. So I'm probably gonna make this a two-parter. I'm going to do a regular draft. I have enough gold for that. And even if I don't win anything, I will get the 50 gems I need to get into competitive seal. So... What's not to lose? So let's see what we can let's see what we can get out of this. And already not promising worst rare ever. So that said, let's take a look at our options. I have I really like poison tip archer, but normally you don't as a fundamental you really don't want to take a gold card very early. Let's say you take um one let's say you take this card you're pretty you're pretty much hemmed in on either black or green as one of your colors now let's say for example i were to take well strangling source okay but let's say i take electrify instead if i took electrify here what would happen is if i'm not in red i have free reign over what other color i could be actually if that was the logic well i'm not taking meteor golem because it's way too expensive it's pretty good mind you but it's expensive Star Crown Stag is probably the better bet since it locks. It's pretty much um, just white. It locks out everything else. But I think there's enough room for me to take red. And I kind of want the instant removal. I'm torn between these two. I could take Strangling Spores and hope that Poison Tip Archer cycles back. Probably not likely. And I'm probably just going to take the Electrify and hope I get at least the Minotaur or the Sure Strike. <clears throat> so... Okay, kind of wishing I'm just in black now, but that's water under the bridge. I could take a dragon egg. There is a bit of a dragon team in M19. Skeleton archer is quite reasonable too. If I go red blue, I have removal and disperse. I have a, something in omen speaker. I could just go mono red for the time being. Gearport guide's also quite decent. Quite decent too. I guess it's a three two regular. If I went with the stag, I would have gone with this one, but not quite a good fundamental. You kind of want lower cost creatures. That said, dragon egg something you build around, so I'll probably start... Let's start sniping red. Let's see if we can and get into green or white at least. Okay, so here's a good... Okay, this is a good white card, sort of, but it's double white, not too keen on that. I could just take the giant spider... Marauder's Axe, no. Probably gonna end up in red blue at this point. Not the Aether Tunnel. I could just take Gallant Cavalry. It's it's a bunch of creatures. It's probably better than Aviation Pioneer at this point. If I'm gonna go wide, I need to at least reserve. Yeah, I need to reserve white red at least. So I'm gonna go wide with Ga Gallant Cavalry. I'm gonna jump on that one. Right. I'm probably going to take the Pyromancer over the Fiery Finish. And over the Sky Scanner. If I took the Aviation Pioneer, I would be taking Sky Scanner. Ah, all these opportunities are... I'm missing all these opportunities as it is. Could just take the Trumpet Blast. I could speculate in the Mirror Image. I only take, I've only taken one white card so far. Let's speculate a bit. Okay, this is second Pyromancer. And not in the return yet. I can take the frilled sea serpent. It's a it's a decent it's a decent big end. Red dried up. And not too keen on any of these. Well Leonin Vanguard's okay, I guess. Would I much rather have the mirror image or the Gallant Cavalry? I'll take this Okay. This one's an honest, honest to goodness, real choice here. I'm gonna take the serpent; it's a bit more flexible. And then here's the return. I could take the gear smith, smith guardian, ghost form, interesting but not strong enough. Ages of the heavens. <laughs> I'll take the gear smith guardian. So I'm probably gonna be white red at this point. 
So a lot of the red card. Oh, this is the return. So probably want probably want the sure strike or the act of treason. We don't have any sacrifice out this. I'll take the sure strike. Then let's take the disperse. So the blue is turning out pretty well. Controllable chill could save my hide. Probably better than Aether Tunnel. Well, I'll just take the Aether Tunnel. It's an uncommon. Wall of Mist, sure. That buys me time. Trumpet Blast came back, so it's a good thing I didn't take that early. So we're definitely r blue red at this point. Mm, wish I had a dragon, but this is a decent rare. Let's see what our. Well, we got nothing on red, nothing on blue. This is a tough splash for. This is a tough splash. We have blue, but not only do we need a green source, but we need to always have a green source if we're going to take advantage of this. It's not bad, so I guess it's takeable. I don't want to get Onaki or. I'll take the rare, speculate, but I don't. But I'm not expecting much out of it, so. Let's see. Definitely need creatures now. I'm sad to say I'm sad to say I am gonna take the hostile Rim minotaur. Oh, volcanic dragon. So we got got one dragon at least. P Dwindle would be a good option for removal. I should be in, keep an eye out for removal too. Salvager of secrets, skilled animator. We need to start getting artifacts if we're gonna go this route. I think it's a decent combo with the dragon's horde at least. Salvager Secrets, it buys back one of our spells. But the only good one is Electrify and Disperse. Catalyst Elemental, nuts. I'll take the Skilled Animator. Let's spec I'm going to speculate on some artifacts. This one's another wall, but it's two mana. Probably just take the Divination. And Gutter Pyromancer Tree or Gutter Snipe. I think I'll just take the... I'll take the Gutter Snipe only because it's an uncommon, but I kind of want the Pyro... Yeah, it's, there's no way it's coming back. So, Gearsmith Prodigy. I actually want actual artifacts at this point. I'll take the Fire Elemental. Okay, Satyr Enchanter. I guess another Hostile Minotaur. I'm trying to avoid the blue at this point, but I could use more artifacts instead of the blue. Hmm. So let's drop the Gearsmith Prodigy out the side. I will take Uncomfortable Chill now. Or, I could just go for the Face with Lava Axe. And I think re Crash 2 is a bit reasonable too. It cycles for a card at least. This one also cycles but saves our hide a bit. I'll take that one. Take another Trumpet Blast. But we need more creatures now. So I'll take the Catalyst Elemental. Okay, second chill that I don't really want. Second wall of mist I don't really want. Planes that I don't really need. Alpine moon that... Okay, but I will take the sleep. Now I need to start prioritizing creatures. Mm. So I'll take the aviation pioneer. Kind of want more red creatures than blue at this point. Okay, let's start dropping some stuff. So let's drop the Wall of Mist. Let's drop the Aether Tunnel. I will just hate out the murder, I guess. Okay, I'll take the Enigma Drake now. <clears throat> Not the best. And I actually might prefer another Goblin. Well, this might come back. Or this one. So I'll take the Enigma Drake. Actually, even the Suspicious Good Bookcase is not too bad. Spark Tongue Dragon. This is a second dragon. I could just take Field Creeper. No, that's very weak. Omen Speaker's a decent one. Do I want... Because all this does, it gives me something to draw a card with. No, let's check how our count. We have a lot, good number of twos. Yeah, I guess I'll take the Omen Speak. I'll take the Omen Speaker. We need to have an early game. In there, we ha we can take Spark Tongue Dragon now. Gearsmith Prodigy is not a good fit. 
I'll just take the rare. I'm not taking Talarian Scholar, though I could use it. I guess I'll take a totally lost now. Filled Sea Serpent, Lava Axe. I'll speculate on the. Do I want another 6 drop? No, I'll speculate on the axe. Okay, so we're just um, starting to fill up the sides now. Well, all in all, not too pleased with this one. But, it's, but it seems like this was the direction this deck was going. Oh, got her tr trumpet blast. I'm probably not going to play that one. So we'll do a... So based on the count, yeah, we need to cut some non-creatures, but only three cuts. That's a good. That's a nice one. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a break here. I'm gonna be back while I analyze this. Okay, and I'm back. I just had to disassemble some some electronics. So let's see. So first off, only two artifacts. So skilled animator is not gonna make the cut. And then the next two things we have to cut are spells. I think two trumpet blasts is too many. Uncomfortable chill. I guess I could keep the chill. But is there anything more expensive? Could I just cut another trumpet blast? Okay, if I cut the trumpet blast, what this does what this does is it sets my game so that I have to I my only hope of winning is in the top end here. If I cut uncomfortable chill, I have some hope of winning on on the lower end down here, but it's a bit scary. Hmm. I could also just cut Dragon's Horde, but being able to draw because it takes me a while before I'll even get to draw a card. It does fix my mana sort of, so I'm I'm not too scared. With running this many 4 drops and 5 drops. Mm, let's just cut the trumpet blast. So. So. Okay, worst pun ever. That might be how I'd run it. I might try to see if I can find a way to sneak in a totally lost. I could cut one creature for it, I guess. Maybe the... Gearsmith Garden for Totally Lost, that's a possibility. I'll save that for later. I feel more comfortable with 16 creatures as it is. So, let's give that a shot. And... Hmm. Things might get a little peachy over here. So we got a good start. We got a two drop into a three drop that doesn't do much. We need another blue source to for this one to go live, but I would rather not use this immediately. I guess the bane of our existence now is that we have so few cheap answers. We only got disperse, electrify is at four. Actually, our only cheap answer is is just the disperse. So we're, in, we're not running quite well. And our opponent's probably... And the worst thing now is that our opponent probably has an enchantment to follow up on the Rustwing Falcon. Knight's Pledge? Okay, White Black so far. Okay, so far so good. No response on that end. Child of Night. At least we could stall it a bit underground. So, play the Goblin Instigator. Next turn, Gutter Snipe. So I'm going to trade one for one. Mighty Leap. Okay, so I'm not trading yet. Hmm. Let's go all aggressive. I could play Enigma Drake just to start blocking some things. I could just Gutter Snipe. Gutter Snipe. Attack with one.
opponent's got more mana. If he's gonna just keep punching us in the sky, this might be a problem. Luminous bonds on the token. Okay, he's forcing a trade. Okay, can I afford not to trade? Actually, I can afford not to trade. Because I have an Enigma Drake. And if he's wasting his Illuminous Bonds and Tokens, so much the better. Let's go ahead and have a 4-drop at this point. Illuminous Bonds on my Enigma Drake, which is perfectly fine. He's not going to trade the Child of Night. Yet. Let's see if he trades. Quite efficient, but I have seven turns. I have a seven turn clock. It's okay, maybe not so much of a clock now. But I can play the Beer Smith Guardian at least. We need another blue source. I got it, but do I want to cash in immediately? No, let's play the Gear Smith Guardian first. So, no attacks. Because if I can, if I can trade off the Daybreak Chaplain, I will. Opponent's down to his last card, which is Caress. Okay, he's gonna try to take me down slowly. Fortunately, I don't have the mana. To... So I do have to kind of play this one. Now here's hoping I draw into one of my bigger guns at least. Opponent's also stuck. Oh, Aviation Pioneer. Here's a gun. So combat. So I'm attacking with this one because I know I have to... Actually, I can jump block. Yeah, I'm gonna attack with this one so that... If it tempts our opponent to attack with um, Daybreak Chaplain. So we're just gonna trade in the air one for one, that's okay with me. Child of Night, that's okay too so far. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's pay. And I'm going to take out the Rustwind Falcon. Because I can have my guys gum up the board, all I need to do is just attack with the Spark Tongue Dragon and uh, top their token. Right, he's gonna be gaining life too. Okay. When enters the battlefield. Okay, this is a good combo. Select object to copy. Then I may pay tree again. I can take out the Daybreak Chaplain. Then attacking with this, this, and this. So we managed to. So we actually had a decent combo with Mirror Image. Though technically this is still named Spark. It copies the name too. When it's kind of stalled out at this point. So 3 6. Okay. So we managed to survive the onslaught of um Okay, wait. Our opponent might still get an out. Grave digger might be a bit late. Well, not quite. He could attack with Child of Night. Okay, he gains one life. He's forced to attack with everything now. That just takes him up to 7 though. 
which is still enough damage. Yeah. Let's just attack with all these guys. Probably the correct. Yeah. Well, presence of mind, you block with the militia bugler. So our opponent, st so our opponent was still was was still in it. We managed to luck out in the sense that our opponent did not draw. Um, did not draw certain cards. More like he was drawing. He did draw lands for a few turns there. So so far and so good. One win, proof of con proof of concepts there. Yeah, that would be a case where I would r rather not have the trumpet last, so that was kind of okay. Would I? I did not necessarily want to have the totally lost there also, so so far the deck is kind of panning out as it is. But one game is not enough to make a conclusion. Let's see if we can get more. Let's see if we can learn more out of that. So we have. We have a pair of turn two plays. I could use one more land, but at least I have all the mana I need, so I'm keeping this one. So we are kinda aggro. At this point, no, that got your sni snipe was perfectly fine. Now, if our opponent had a shock, it would kinda ruin our day a bit. But it's okay. We managed to get the damage in. We can just so the sure strikes none a no go. But we do have other cards to to go. So far, it's looking like it's mono red and mono red. Yeah, we need the cards now. At least we in th in this case we need the lands. We did not get lands, but we did. But we did get some spells out. Also, that cost okay. Red, red, green. So next turn, instigator. I'm gonna try not to pe play the sure strike for as long as I can. One more land for at least fire elemental. Your opponent's got though. Red green supposedly big stuff. That might be a problem. Colossal Majesty is not big stuff, so that's okay. <clears throat> Actually, might be a signal our opponent's planning to play something big late. Their attack and combat. My turn. So. I guess we got the extra mana source now. Opponent definitely has a response. That's the thing that scares me. So combat attack. Just gonna swing with the token. Let's see what he does. If he trades, I'm willing to trade. Yeah, I'm willing to trade. So hold it off for as long as we can, I guess. Oh, that two red. I'm really. Sus I really suspect he has lightning strike. Okay, he's a fire elemental. I could sleep it for a turn. Oh wait. Let's go into combat. If he does the obvious block, I okay, which he's not gonna do. I could fire elemental, I could just electrify. Let's just do the fire elemental for now. I'm one mana short of getting volcanic dragon out. My opponent's now refilling his hand. This is gonna be a, it's gonna be a bit concerning for me. Palaka worm's gonna be really bad here. Token form. So I'll be taking eight damage. Sounds a 
Wildwood. Oh, he's going all in on that one. So I guess that's okay. I have a disperse. So what I could do now is... Okay. I have sleep mana, so I'm probably gonna do just that. Actually, first, let's go into combat. Buy ourselves a turn. Then next turn, our opponent has to play something. So what I'm actually in the lookout for are is another blue source. I have uncomfortable. Actually, one more mana source. Uncomfortable chill into electrify is a good call. Or to play the Volcanic Dragon now, my concern is only that because this has Trample, my life total is a bit on the short end. Because 4, then 7. Actually, this is enough for me to win. I'm really concerned what his other cards are. Also, he's representing an Electrify. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to cast my Electrify first. Combat attack with the five six. Mm, this is concerning. So I'm only gonna hit for four. Maybe s I'm only gonna hit for four damage with this one. Probably should just hit with this one. Let's hope I don't die right away. So the basic plan here is just uncomfortable chill. Hopefully. Hopefully mess the combat mat up a bit. But this is gonna be really close. I really want a disperse right now. I'm also concerned he might just have direct damage. Tormenting voice. Okay, maybe not quite yet. No, this is five man is still possible to have something. Six mana. Okay, so I'm gonna play the uncomfortable chill now. Okay, there's my mana source. I'm still gonna block anyway. That takes me down to five. Unfortunately, it's still Lava Axe range, so if he has... Okay, no, he doesn't have it. It's a Greenwood Sentinel. Okay, Fortune. So, I could swing, but he blocks with this one. My best... Okay. If I play Volcanic Drag... Wait, I have 8 mana, so I can play Volcanic and Opens... Oh, wait! He ha in moment of truth. Otherwise, I could just play the Omen Speaker, but no, the trample that Okay, let's say he tramples up for four. That's still five. That's enough. I have to go for the win here. Not liking it. Show me Electrify. Shh. No Electrify. Okay, we. Okay, we. Go not, I was scared because he was holding up 4 mana a lot. He was holding up 4 mana most of the time. That, that really scared me. Uh, 
that said, two wins, not bad, not bad. So definitely we'll have enough to play competitive sealed later. I'll fill up the water can. Later. That's all. Well, things were getting a bit dicey there, to be honest. Yeah, that would be a case where I really want to totally lost. As it is, yeah, turn two into turn three. I have my choices on turn two, so I'm definitely keeping this one. Okay, since I have the mana, I will. Pr I I'm in no pressure to go Omen Speaker. Then again, if I do, if I draw into another mana, I might be pressured into Omen Speaker. Okay, I might just Omen Speaker now. Reason being that he's only gonna gain life here. This one's not gonna get through. I might as well just have something that blocks the way. So I definitely want the. In Okay, let's have the land in the bottom. I guess I can have the Enigma Drake on top. Kind of a bit of a dead draw now, but not. Uh... Actually, in hindsight, I might want. I might rather have had that on the bottom. Anyway, so my plan now is just basically Aviation Pioneer into Hostile Minotaur next turn. Next two turns. That's the plan. So I'm the token's not gonna get through, but that's okay. I might even just play the Enigma Drake now to act as a blocker. Now nah, let's hold it back. Because I'm suspecting Luminous Bonds just like the last time. So no need to attack here. I in fact, suspe I in fact suspect that my opponent's not going to be attacking anytime soon. So... Departed Deckhand. So it becomes a target of a spell sacrifice it, so that's not happening. I guess I can play Hostile Minotaur at least plow through the deckhand. So let's go in for 4 damage. Yeah, it's gonna plow through the deckhand at least. I might have to sacrifice a 3 3 that way. Now, here's where I'm hoping to draw into lands, but got your snipe or pyromancer next turn is not too bad. Okay, land's not bad. In fact, I can just play got your snipe. Let's see. Oh, usually in draft, it's reasonable to assume your opponent doesn't have a counter, though. This is the one color combination I expect them to have one. Okay. In fact, I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk here. He could he'll chump he could chump lock one and maybe pump a well if he pumps it now that's perfectly fine. Because at least it's um <clears throat> it's on the defense. This is where things get a little problematic. Ooh, didn't like those cards. Uncomfortable chill. No, that only nukes t minus two. No, this is pass. Let's wait for our opponent to swing with everything. He... Okay, he's not swinging with everything, but that's okay, I guess. Because so I do get to ding him for two. And then, Frilled Sea Serpent, one more mana would be nice. Oh, ask and you shall receive. It probably has a response for this. It is what it is. Anyway, let's just try to keep this top this um top pair alive. Well, seems to be quite flat. Okay, he's gonna new probably the gutter snipe. Yeah, if you got nothing better to do, I just nuke the gutter snipe. 
Yeah, fire in the hole. Okay, so he attacks with everything. I can't. Probably now's a good time to block. Not. I'm concerned why he's. Does he have his own uncomfortable chill? That would be interesting. So. Let's do obvious block is obvious. So we got a dragon horde into Enigma Drake. And then we'd be one more mana shy of Spark Tongue Dragon. So. Let's do that. Okay, so since these guys are not blocking the ground anytime soon. Oh, he doesn't have the uncomfortable chill. So that was a weird trade. Actually, if I don't get the mana, I might still be willing to place a Smart Tongue Dragon and just draw a card. But I don't think our opponent is going to let us have that choice. Oh, sleep. So, we're going to be taking... Okay, so... Unless we have removal anytime soon. Okay, so 8. Okay, we got Sure Strike. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... You know what? That might not be su such a bad plan. So I get the counter. Can't pay that. But he's probably not, not expecting the sure strike now. Well, he might still have removal, so that would be a moot point. Totally lost. Yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, he he had the response for that. Well, it was worth a shot. Actually, that's kind of how good sleep is as a spell. It's pre pretty much first pickable anytime. So not not so great. Two wins, one loss, but we both cases we worked for it. Now I'm. Now I'm probably thinking maybe I should start putting in my own totally lost. It's really a question of what would I remove? I guess I could remove the uncomfortable chill. That though it cycles a bit, that one that one helps. Okay, definitely keeping this one. I could just run the pyromancer for days. So I'm not in too much of a hurry for mana, but getting some lands now in time would be, be helpful. I guess... Um, sure. If play the Pyromancer, at least we get value now. And if our opponent is willing to use it next turn, so be it. Okay, he's not in a hurry. In fact, I think he's in a hurry for something else. That might be a problem. So I'll play the Aviation Pioneer first. It's probably not gonna... So at least he has to... He's kind of spread around though. I'm pretty sure the Parat apparat is gonna hit the Pyromancer. Is there gonna be Sleep again? Probably not. It's way too... Exclusion Mage targeting the token. That's fine. So... I didn't get the mana in time. But, let's attack with this one. If he's willing to trade, I might... Okay, I still didn't get mana. Well, at least I got... At least I got a net positive off that trade. Okay, he's now spending his mana to nuke the Pyromancer. Does he have... But he's got no follow-up. Eh, just... Perfect, no, I guess. So our opponent is playing a bit too much reactive magic. I guess that's why I don't like mana lit in principle. 
So our opponent is just is expecting us to run all the creatures. I might eventually get to that point. But at least I'm getting some at least I'm getting value off them. Like even with the hostile minotaur dying immediately, at least he did get the hit in. So window. Opponent is purely reactive. When it's blocks destroyed, that's okay, so it buys us a little time. In fact, I will play this one also. Let's hope he doesn't have a cleansing on us. Kind of the greed is good maneuver right now. Luminous Bonds. Snapping Drake. Oh, we win this one. So all we have to do is go into attack. So he blocks one. Then plus three on one of the tokens. And we managed to win by the skin of our teeth. That's pretty much why I keep sh I kept sure strike no matter what. That said, too many combat tricks, not so great, but y y it's not about how many, but you just want to have the right ones at the right time. So, so much for going straight to sealed. I'm, I'm, I'm doing quite well so far here. Again, I guess it's a case of fundamentals. Although, to be fair, this draft, I would have preferred to have m better removal spells. Started off with an electrify and then disperse, but probably wanted more. Sure Strike was kinda removal, totally lost. It's removal, but it's a bit too expensive for my taste. Uncomfortable chills, not really removal. It's more like a keep me alive a little bit longer spell. Oh yeah, and for some of the newer players who don't get um, who, who, who are experiencing Ravnica for the first time here? Um, you here you'll see the ten different um symbols of the guilds. So we got Demir over here, Is it over here, the Golgari down here, Boros over here, Celestia over here. Other guilds will be introduced later. Okay, so I don't like this hand. My only place really got your snipe and dragon sword, but I can copy their best creature, so maybe I'll keep it. The joke was some. Um, Okay, not really a joke. There was a card that was called um, some like a tablet of the guilds. It showed this entire exact pattern. Though I think the center is a little different. Okay, I regret keeping this now. The flavor text on... So what that card did was you got to choose two colors and whenever you played a spell of either one of those colors, you gained a life. So the flavor text of the first card was... Of that card, the actual one is Dazorius, white, blue, up here paid a lot of money to get their symbol on the top. Now, there was one joke in the forums that... Okay, this is really bad now. This is a very bad keep. Come on, Disperse. Mm, not quite Disperse, but I have to play the better side. Now, if you know green-black, I, I guess we're all experiencing the Scourge that is mid-range right now. But... Back in the days when or original Ravnica, there was this thing called Dredge. Basically, you just dumped your entire library into your graveyard. You played off the graveyard. You actually ca can win with barely any mana at all. And it was so good that everything ended up in Legacy and whatnot. So the joke was, everybody who hated Dredge paid a lot of money to make sure that their symbol is in the very bottom. And that's the joke. Well... So at this point, no point playing this one. I want to trade immediately. It's a shame I have to give up the gutter snipe, but I have to offer it at this point. So it's not a great trade. We've already taken a lot of damage from it. Vivian Reed is in. Gonna... Wild animals I like. People, the wilds so, are my. I'm really into mono green, so sometimes draft can go this way. 
We've only got forest, thank goodness. Could I take one more hit? Because hmm. in theory, I can play the next... I can play the mount. You know what? I'm going to gamble and take... Oh, wait. No, it doesn't matter because I can't hit back anyway. So, not so great, but... I do have to play Fire Elemental now. And as long as this one guy still survives, I'm gonna probably just mirror image the fire elemental. I could likewise just play Dragon's Horde and just um, electrify the next big creature opponent's sure to play at this point. Seven mana is scary. Opponent might even try to dig for a better creature. In fact, I would recommend he do that first. Um, Vivi comes. Ask Vivian to for the favor. Yeah, can't. Yeah, if you're gonna help others, you gotta help yourself. Gaspark Twins. Well, we're gonna copy that. So I'm gonna play the ho this one first, then play the mirror image. Oh, but it's only creatures you control, but that's okay. So again, it's it's horrible. I have to actually not too bad. Oh, if our opponent has another enchantment, okay, maybe it's bad. But at the very least, I can double block. I will, I will only lose one of my two creatures. At least that's what the board positions looks like. Meet my newest friend. One's getting a lot of card advantage right now. Okay, giant spider, not too bad. I was just waiting to see if our point. Ooh, that's a problem. Actually, not too much. It just means we lose both creatures. We take two extra damage. But our opponent is now going to have indestructible creatures. And I am forced to block. That said, I got six mana. No good. Three. You know what? I think I can afford to take the hit. But I can't afford to take a hit when this one pumps, so I have to hit Vivian at least once. He probably just sacrificed the giant spider though, but... Okay, sacrificing the giant spider. His creatures are now going to be indestructible at this point, so this one's not going to be meaningless. Okay, Sack that. I'm going to get hit for three. He's got another Oaken form. Good for him. Okay, not an Oaken form, but a Centaur Corsair. Bristling Boar. Okay. Well, technically, this is very good game at this point. At least I get a hit for one. Six. Okay, one. No, I'll definitely die if even if I do it. But let's play it anyway. Gear Smith, not what I wanted. Okay, got that one. Got that one. That's not great. So I'm attacking and I'm gonna say good game right afterwards because that's basically concession at that point. Yeah, so far not so great. And he even had the Palaka work. That is one benefit of I'm going. That is one benefit of going monocolored. You should cast everything. Also, that is the problem with not having enough removal. So three wins, two losses. Not so. Not too great right now, but it's okay. I I got what I came for, so that's all. That's all. so I can't complain too much about it. I would like to have at least one more win, but truth be told, I think we've pushed the deck to us. No, I think we could still do better. 
Uh, but not like this. Okay, this one's slightly better. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping the Disperse on top because as much as I need more mana, I need to be able to respond to things. So if our opponent doesn't play much, I can just do the Uncomfortable Chill to cycle to our... Oh, bad. This is interesting. Supreme Phantom... Okay, not too shabby. In fact, I might be able to... I think I, I can afford to take a bunch of damage. Well, it depends what our opponent does next turn. Attack. Block. Damage. Play a creature. Pegasus Courser. Oh yeah, I can uh, I can afford to take that damage then. So my turn. I'm gonna play Divination and hope the next two cards are lands. Okay, at least I got one land. So probably uncomfortable chill next turn. Star Crown Stag. Yeah, I guess uncomfortable chill next turn is okay. So we can buy ourselves time that way. Could use another blue source, but at least I have at least I have enough for Gear Smith Guardian and Fire Elemental and a potential filled sea snurpin. So let's uncomfortable chill. Hope he Okay, drew into our mana, so we'll take one damage. Please, thank you very much. Opponent is not gonna go into defensive. No, this one's gonna. No, this guy's gonna tap my guy down. Hmm. What? No, let's just do the regular plan. I'll play the gear smith first. I'm, I'm definitely gonna take five damage next turn. This, this guy's gonna tap this one for sure. Though I'm counting on it being tapped. Okay, Luminous Bonds. Oh, that's okay. So I can even tap it as well. So, next turn. Okay, maybe not the Dragon's Ward. Shield Sea Serpent. No. Okay, if I played this. Yeah, wait, you know what? I'll play that one. I'll play the Omen Speaker. Let's take a look at the next two cards. Okay, definitely want to sleep, but not the mountain. And pass the turn. So we have options at least. In fact, we could surprise our opponent a bit. Let's see how he taps. Okay. Oh, he's gonna make that flying, so that does so bouncing this doesn't matter. I might as well just bounce this instead. So damage. He's gonna play it again. He's swing out of desperation, so that. I'm hoping he blocks with the Star Crown Stag. And uh, nope, he blocks with that, so Sure Strike doesn't do anything. So, question. I can play the. F sleep until I absolutely have to, which is probably next turn. Opponent managed to take very good control of our board with only 4 mana. Another Luminous Bonds. Yeah, he's, he's got it all. So I definitely have to cast sleep next turn. So, 
doing so upon having enough yeah this is the benefit of having enough removal early opponent went with the enchantment team so the only caveat now is I have no way of surviving the next attack he just blocks my next guy he just sends it up in the air Aviation Pioneer is not gonna do it. Mm. I guess in height, yeah, Pegasus Courser is probably one of the best cards here. So. Yeah, he's definitely gonna tap that one. So, combat. Attack. Yeah, it's pretty much good game at this point. Let's see if he yeah he taps correctly. Yeah, good game. So there it is. There we go. We did our best, but I guess our best just wasn't good enough. What we did get, we did get enough um, to do sealed, but that'll be for another episode. So let's claim our prizes, and that's it for this episode of the Magic Arena Run. If you like what you see, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this one. And let's see what let's see what we got for our troubles. Something to remind me of my draft, actually. Okay, this one reminds me, this one reminds me of my draft. That's it. So, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I will probably, I'll probably do a competitive sealed right next. So, so hope to see you guys again next time. And that's it. Ciao.